Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to construct a 3D model of plastic part in Autodesk Inventor software. In this tutorial, we will learn how to construct our basic plastic part model in Autodesk Inventor and how to construct the 3D part. Okay, so let's get started. Go to new, take a standard part in millimeter and go to create. Now take a 2D sketch, select the top plane, the exit plane. Rotate the view. Now take a rectangle command and select two point center rectangle. Select the center point. Make a rectangle profile. Go to dimension. Define this horizontal dimension as 175 mm and vertical dimension of 100 mm. Now take 3D model, extrude, extrude it up to a height of 40 mm go to more settings and take a taper of 5 degree okay when we take a taper of 5 degree you can see the uh, profile is expanding outside if you change it to minus 5 so it will come inside okay so in this case we are taking 5 degree go to shape and the extrude length is of 40 mm press ok Rotate the view. Now select the top face. Go to create sketch. Select the project geometry and project this face. Now take the offset command. Select this complete profile. Drag the cursor outside and give a dimension of 5 mm and enter. Escape. Double click this. Enter. So this is 5 mm offset. Okay. Now take a 3D model, take extrude, select complete profile, go to front view. Now this time we will take offset extrude of 30 mm. Okay. And go to more settings and this time also taper of 5 degree. Go to shape and okay. Okay. So this will be the profile. Now we are going to assign fillet to all the edges so go to fill it go to radius and take a radius of 15 mm go to edge selection rotate the view select this bottom edge this this edge rotate and the fourth edge apply now change the radius to 20 mm go to edge selection select this this Select this, rotate and select this. Apply. Okay. Now change the radius to 10 mm. Go to edge selection. Select this inner edge and apply. Now change the radius to 2 mm. Go to edge selection. Select this top edge and this bottom of complete profile and okay. Now we have completed with all the fillets. Now we will shell this command, shell this complete profile or make it a hollow profile. Go to shell command, take a thickness of 2 mm and we will select the top face. So the top face will be the open face and press OK. So this will be a hollow profile. Now go to origin and we will select the XY plane. Go to create sketch. Now go to view visual style, change it to wireframe. Go to sketch, take line command, start from this, make one horizontal line and make one file over here until this. Escape. Now go to line command from the center point, we will construct a straight line up to the center point of this green line. Okay. So this green point will be the center point. Click here, escape, select this line, make it vertical constraint, escape, select this line, make it a construction geometry. Now go to dimension, define this angle here as 30 degree and the complete angle as 60 degree. 
and here this dimension 130 and this distance here of 20 mm scape okay so this is a fully constrained sketch now go to 3d model take extrude and here go to cut flip the direction so this will be a front side cut go to view visual style change it to shaded with edges drag the cursor outside and press ok ok now select this edge go to fillet take here a fillet radius of 10 mm go to edge selection select this edge rotate and now select this edge and select this edge apply ok and exit so this will be the profile now we are going to make a cut profile at this side here you can see this uh, this is for holding okay or picking up the basket profile so for this we will select the right plane select the yz plane go to create sketch now here take rectangle command and select two point center rectangle make a rectangle profile here go to view visual style change it to wireframe go to sketch make one line go to line command starting point will be this and this will be the end point escape select this line make it construction now drag this rectangle at center point of this line ok go to dimension Define this dimension as 55 mm and this height of 13 mm. Okay. Now go to fillet. Give here a fillet radius of 3. Select this edge, this edge, this and this, this and this, this and this. Okay. Exit. Now finish sketch. Go to extrude. Take a symmetric extrude here. Take cut and here we will take all so this will be a through cut both sides and press ok go to view visual style change it to shaded with edges now we will select this face go to create sketch as this is a paper face so the view will look like this now go to project geometry project this complete profile select this one by one ok like this this profile and this profile. okay now go to offset select this and here we will take offset of 2 mm escape double click this enter go to 3d model take extrude select this profile here will give a extrude of 1.5 okay make it symmetric and you can take it 2 mm and press ok ok now go to 3d model take fillet here we will take a fillet radius of 0 0.5 mm go to edge selection and select this edge inner edge this edge ok apply and select this inner edge rotate and this inner edge ok ok rotate the view so this will be the complete profile now we want same profile this side also so go to mirror select extrude 4 ok we don't want to select the extrude 4 extrude 5 fillet 6 and fillet 7 ok ok fillet 7 is from inside so we have to give it again go to mirror plane Select the visor plane, press OK. Now select, go to fill it, select this inner edge and this edge, apply. Exit, rotate the view. Now you can see same profile. Now we are done till here. Now we will work with the bottom of this profile. OK, so rotate the view. Select this face, go to create sketch, 
rotate the view again now go to project geometry project this line and this line go to offset select this offset here of 5 mm and this also offset of 5 mm escape now double click this okay double click this now go to r command select this point and this point and join them make them tangent okay now go to dimension define this as 8 radius escape now go to tangent constraint select this and this okay it is tangent and this was missing tangent constraint okay now go to line command make one line here and one line here go to dimension define this as 17 mm and this also of 17 mm okay now escape now go to trim command trim this and trim this escape select this yellow line make it construction select this make it construction now go to offset command select this complete profile and offset inside okay first we will give the fillet go to fillet Take here a fillet of 2 radius, select this and this, this and this, this and this, exit. Now we will take offset, give offset inside of 2 mm and escape. Double click this, ok. Now go to 3D model, take extrude, here select this profile. Give extrude of 1.5 mm and press OK. Now go to fillet. We have taken a radius of 0 0.5. So select here 0 0.5 radius and select this. Apply. Now rotate the profile. Select all the edges first. Select this edge and the second edge, this and the third edge, this edge and apply. Now select the inner edge and the outer edge. Okay, rotate the view to make it more clear and apply. Exit. Now we want to pattern this on all the four corners. Select this from here we have started. This is for this from extrude 6 till fillet 11. So go to mirror command. Select extrude 6, 9, fillet 10 and 11. Go to mirror plane. Select the YZ plane. OK. Now go to mirror command once again. Start from this. Select this, this and mirror 2. Go to mirror plane. And this time we will select the XY plane. And press OK. OK. Now select this bottom face, go to create sketch, select this, rotate. Now we are going to make this profile. Okay. So go to circle command, select this point, make a circle of diameter 12.5 mm. Go to rectangle and select two point center rectangle. Select this point, make one rectangle here, select this point. Make one rectangle here. Go to dimension. Define this as 4 and this also as 4. Okay. So this height here will be of 85 and this height will be 155. Okay. Now finish sketch. Go to extrude. Select complete profile. We will extrude it up to a height of 1.5 and press OK. Now select this edge, give fillet here. Here we will give a fillet of 1.5. OK, rotate the view. This side also 1.5. This side and this side 1.5. Rotate. And 
here also 1.5 1.5 this also 1.5 and this also 1.5 okay now apply now take a fillet of 0.5 mm go to edge selection select the corners first 1 0.5 was first and second and this and this okay and select this this rotate and this and this okay now apply now select this bottom when we give fillet at the edges first so it will consider it a complete one profile and fillet will be applied completely now select this top okay and press ok ok now go to home so the all profiles are been constructed now ok this corner we will give a fillet go to fillet select this edge and select this edge apply go to radius and change it to 2 and select this inner edge and press ok ok now we will assign the appearance I have given the yellow color so you can give according to you so I will select the yellow color ok so this was a basic tutorial to how to construct a plastic part in Autodesk Inventor software I hope you like the video if you do so please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you